Uh, the questions, I guess, for the uh, mayor and uh, Debbie Swanson of the health department. I've been talking with attorney David uh, Thompson, who has been uh, interviewing employees at LM Health. Uh, some of employee or employees who have said that the mayor's office and health department were notified as early as mid-March that there were uh, possible COVID problems at the plant. Um, can you respond to, uh, if you received that notification, what, if anything, was done at that time when you received that information? Well, thank you. On Sunday evening, March 22nd, 2020, the Grand Forks Public Information Center received an email from an individual identifying themselves as an employee of LM Wind Power expressing concern about the physical distancing at the Grand Forks facility. Email was distributed to the mayor's office and the Grand Forks Public Health Department. On Monday morning, March 23rd, 2020, the mayor's office advised the Public Health Department that it would respond to the concerns. Grand Forks Region Economic Development Corporation President and CEO Keith Lund made contact with plant management on behalf of the city, explaining the concerns had been received from LN Wind Power employees regarding lack of physical distancing at the plant, and to confirm that LN Wind Power is taking appropriate precautions in accordance with the city's recommendations. The Public Health Department received a call on March 23rd, 2020, from another individual identifying themselves as an employee of LN Wind Power, expressing similar concerns. The caller was advised that the mayor's office is aware of the prior communication from the Ellen Wind Power employee and that the mayor's office was following up on these concerns. On March 24, 2020, Keith Lund, on behalf of the mayor's office, advised senior representative Ellen Wind Power of the concerns again expressed in the email and was assured that Ellen Wind Power was taking the necessary and appropriate precautions in accordance with the CDC's recommendations. Throughout this pandemic, the city continued to provide consistent information to the public to follow the CDC guidelines regarding CDC recommendations and including the need for physical distancing. The CDC guidelines apply to employers and employees alike. As the coronavirus moves into our region, the CDC guidelines are now more important than ever. During the evening of Tuesday, April 14th, the city of Grand Forks was made aware of the North Dakota State Department that several employees at Element Power tested positive for COVID-19. In collaboration with the State Health Department and North Dakota National Guard, a targeted testing event occurred at Ellen Wind Power, leading to the identification of a large number of employees testing positive for COVID-19. And they immediately shut down the plant, which is a key to stopping the spread. And now their employees are home and they're being paid by Ellen Wind Power. Uh, did anyone ever check to see if LM was actually following social distancing and stuff at that time after you told Keith Lunn about it? Not, do you have any information on that? Because we as a city, I, we communicate to them and they say, yes, we're following, we're in compliance. So, so basically. This is, Debbie, this is Debbie Swanson of the health department. Uh, we do not do inspections of various businesses and industries. When we hear about concerns, we certainly try to follow up to the best of our ability, but was a physical inspection made of this particular plant? No. Okay.